What's up guys, this is Boondocks, and I'm continuing my playthrough on my Lania ship. Last time I left off, I had a decent amount of scrap saved up, and had taken a considerable amount of hull damage. I wasn't feeling too good, didn't realize I wasn't recording. Jumped to this beacon right here, which you can see I fled from like a little bitch because he was kicking my ass, and continued on, waited for my uh, jump to recharge, jumped to the store, repaired up my hole, and as much as I want to go back, it would be somewhat of a waste to jump, though I could kind of hook up and around, so I'm just going to come over to this distress beacon. I did spend enough to now be able to have my advanced flak equipped with my chain ion at the same time. Bring him back to the ship and hope to find some help for him. Took five hole damage. That's some horse shit. Oh well. Make sure nothing's on fucking fire. Because sometimes this shit likes to be on fire. Okay, well that area is definitely not on fire because it's vented like crazy. And this stuff won't be on fire either. Close that door just in case we get borders. And I, I've been not having very good luck recently with distress signals, but oh well. Sadly, I don't think I can jump all the way through in this sector. Okay, offer a copy of your translator's data suit. Sweet, yes. Continue. The fence scrambler. That's pretty awesome, especially if uh, I had missiles or defense drones, because then, or attack drones rather, because then enemy defense drones wouldn't shoot them down. Send your rock crew member in. Put out that fire! Rock soldier tears through the airlock directly into the fire. Never seen someone that large move that fast. Awesome. Fire suppression system. Which is better than my defense scrambler? In my opinion. Since I'm not using... Well, the defense scrambler could help on my advanced flak, but I'd rather not burn to death than be able to put out fires. So now, I wish this had a jump across. It does not. So, just moving on down. Make another quick sip of my coffee. Get to the exit beacon where there might be a fight. And there is. So we could accept his bribe. He has teleporters. He also has a Hermes missile launcher. And a burst laser. Or just had a dual laser. Whatever. Uh, we're going to fight him. We'll probably get more items that way, which is what I'm really interested in. And put my chain eye on here, put my advanced flak there, and try to wait to see where he teleports in. Right in my door room, which is actually, well, it's another Lania, sadly. So that means that I'll actually be at a slight disadvantage. Be well, not a disadvantage per se, but rather I won't have the absurd advantage of being able to uh I'll just suffocate him. Okay, so now I'm actually going to put my charge eye on here, wait for him to die, take these two guys back up to the teleporter, and I'll go see if there's other Lanius on board. Because if there's not, then there's no reason to not kill them off. And it looks like we have a uh, what the fuck? I can't, couldn't really tell because of that goddamn. I know it was a human. Okay. Destroy the ship and salvage it. Or use the leverage to convince them to delay the pursuing fleet. I might as well destroy the ship and salvage it because I'm already at the exit beacon and there's nowhere else to jump. So, they're good. Get him back on the door system. Gonna save them again just because they seem to want to reset whenever they die and whatnot. Though they didn't die, I'm sure I didn't. Save them since the last time they did. Hmm. I'm gonna jump to the next sector first and see if there's a. What am I looking for here? A shop right next to the initial jump in area. If there is, now I'm probably going to ch base what I purchase. Or would I upgrade off of what might be here? Because if they have a weapon pre-igniter, then my whole strategy change. I could get another Zoltan, 
Mm, probably not going to, but I could. Okay, they don't have a weapon pre-igniter, though they do have the automatic reloader. Thinking I will buy the sensors. Um, just for 40 scrap and the fact that it gives me so much more information for what's happening on my ship. At any given time, I feel like it is worth it. I'm going to buy all the way up to 20 fuel. Now I'm going to upgrade my ship a little bit. Okay, so that'll cost me another 100, and then I can get one more power bar and still be able to take one out of, say, my control or my uh, clone bay. So I feel like this is a good uh, usage of my money, and chances are I won't upgrade my shields again. Because once you start trying to spend that much scrap to get one more hit, it's kind of counterproductive. I did pick up a fire beam. So while I probably won't use it because I don't have rock crewmen as boarders, chances are I will use it um, as something to vendor to the next door. Shit. I'm going to hail them. What's the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen is they turn out to be uh, a pirate ship. Awesome. So they have a teleporter, a clone bay, and a Hermes missile system. Not too good for me. So naturally I'm going to want to take them out here first. Wait to see where they teleport in. Okay, right in my engine room. So Engie's going to run for his happy little life. Going to vent out some of this air. And watch as Zoltan die. The nice thing about Zoltan is they die really fast. Sadly, he will be able to come back thanks to that clone bag. But whatever. I'm also going to open these just to try to get a little bit more air spreading in there. A little bit quicker so that way I can pop him in. Reclose those doors. I'm going to open these actually. I should probably just unpause that for now. I would very much like for uh, that missile launcher to come offline, please. Please. Thank you. Okay, so now that that took some damage, I'm going to put him in to repair it. Because it's going to vent off off its air relatively quickly. Okay, this guy needs to get back into this door room pretty quick. That was poor planning on my part, to be honest. I think I'm just going to kill these guys off the old-fashioned way. So you're going to go on the shields. I'm tired of their shields coming up and blocking some of my flak. And that Zoltan border is dead. Easy. Always leave my oxygen room oxygenated. So that way, if something horrible happens, like taking a missile there, I'll be able to go and repair it. And that way my crew won't suffocate. So that typically sucks. Hey, enemy FTL is charging, so I'm going to pop that right here. Actually, I'm going to put it on the helm, because I probably should have been shooting the helm a little bit more, except I wanted to try to keep the uh, rocket launcher from totally fucking me. It did do a considerable amount of damage, in all honesty. I think it hit me once. you got to be kidding. Hit him, hit him, hit him. There we go. Had he been able to jump away without me getting any scrap, I would have been slightly upset. Just gonna come down here and see if there's anything that I want to jump to on the far side. And I reject your offer, sir. Okay, so they have a ion blast, and that's a flat cannon mark too. That thing is pretty devastating. It fires out seven fucking rounds at once. So I'm gonna put him back into my teleporter. Put my door guy back into my doors, and I'm I'll try to take out their weapons. I don't really see it as viable, but in the meantime I'm going to jump up here, my control one of these dumbasses, and go to work. Okay, so I did do some enough damage to uh, successfully take out some of their weapons, which is excellent for me. Boom, right like that. Now, one of the things I wish you could do with my control is turn it off. Okay, I'm actually going to turn off my flak attack after this. Alright, so we killed him with flaking that room. Got another... What is it? We got a 
Heavy Laser Mark 1, I believe. If it was Mark 2, I might think about using it. The Mark 1 is decent, uh, just because it only takes one power to use. So I'm actually going to equip that, because now if I just slap in one more power, I'll be able to finish off certain ships a little bit easier, and I will want to have max weapons by the end of the game anyway. So it's kind of irrelevant. Try to dislodge. Okay, so two hole damage, and hopefully I'm not on fire. I'm not on fire, but I'm not exactly in a good condition. Probably should have had a little bit more restraint recently, but those who dare win, right? Okay, so they don't have a teleporter. They do have another Hermes rock uh, missile launcher. And an ion cannon. But I'm going to aid the civilian ship. I'm going to power this up one more time. I am also going to jump into their weapons bay, where we have an NG and a Mantis. I probably should have uh, waited to jump out of here until I had my mind control back up. I didn't, sadly, because it's, well, mostly because I'm an idiot. But I'm going to take over their Mantis and have him run off to the side. So the NG now ran away due to lack of oxygen. And hopefully we can. Yeah, we dodged one ability, and now we're going to be able to take out these weapons, no problem. And the Mantis comes running back just to run off from lack of being able to breathe, which is fine. And I'm definitely going to try to destroy these weapons before I move my boarding team out of the area. Just so that way, when they come back in, it'll take much, much longer to repair up. So now that that's down, I feel like it's oxygen room time. Yeah, oxygen room. Okay, it's kind of irrelevant because there's only the two guys there. I was able to kill him and gain some bonus scrap from the people that I saved. Yay for being the good guy, right? So here's a store. And I'm tempted to see what's there just because if it has a weapon pre-igniter, then shit gets real. But first I'm going to jump over here. And I'm not going to spend any scrap to upgrade beforehand because... Well, mostly because I want that weapon pre-igniter without risking anything. So I'm just going to actually try to, I'm going to don't risk activation, because it looks like he has two rocket launchers and cloaking with double layers of shields, and right now my shield takedown, until I get my burst laser mark 5 or mark 3 up, my shield de destruction ability is a little bit lacking. Okay, so we do have cloaking, that... I probably should buy that. Let's see if they have Weapon Pre Igniter, which they don't, but they have a Glaive Beam. A Glaive Beam. And Ion Blast Mark II. So the Ion Blast Mark II, in my opinion, is far superior to the Chain Ion. Because the Chain Ion, while firing, it costs the same amount of energy to power. As you might be able to see. Same amount of energy to power. Each one fires one shot. Um, it does one Ion damage. But the Ion Blast Mark II fires every four seconds, whereas the Chain Ion uh, speeds up each turn. But it has an initial charge time of four, um, fourteen. Well, it has Chain Damage Cap. Oh, okay. So that's what that does. The Chain Ion increases its damage every time it fires. Check the green light on the weapon to see how many times it has fired. Okay, okay. So that's interesting. I did not fully understand the uses of that weapon, to be honest. Um, that changes things, actually. Because I'm thinking that this takes 19 seconds to charge. Glaive Beam takes 25 seconds to charge. But I know the Glaive Beam does actually more damage overall than the Burst Laser Mark III. So I'm going to sell that even though I bought it previously. And now I don't have enough to buy cloaking, unfortunately. Maybe this was a horrible, horrible mistake. Well, hang on. Do I have anything else I can sell? I could sell my Heavy Laser Mark I, in all honesty. And that's exactly what I'm going to do in order to buy cloaking. Yes, because cloaking is very, very overpowered, to be honest. Um, as far as I can tell, it's probably one of the best systems you can have on your ship at any given time, just for the fact that you can say, fuck you, I now have 
Over 100% dodge chance. Suck my dick. So, I'm going to just put my mobile repair guy back over here real quick. They can do a decent amount of uh, fire at me right now. I'm actually going to take one point out of my clone bay to power up my cloaking. I'm going to teleport in on their... You know what? I'm just going to jump in here. And then my control one of these guys. See him run away like a little bitch. Or, oh no, he's actually going to stay here and help me fight. Okay, this is actually a pretty dangerous room to be in. And I say that knowing full well that they're just going to suffocate and run away. Which is exactly what happened. I wasn't paying attention. I could have cloaked out of some s serious shit that came flying at me. I was too busy watching my uh, fighters. You know, I'm just going to cloak even though they can't really break through my shields with that. That was really stupid because I shouldn't have taken any hole damage this fight. But because I was just being lazy and not really paying attention or managing my abilities properly, I took damage. And a decent amount, too. That's pretty stupid, in my opinion. Okay, I'm going to wait for my mind control to be up again. Send this guy back over here. Now that mind control's up, move it into their engine room, I guess. Okay, he should die. You get my control to see where you go. You're on shields. And that's exactly what I wanted to happen. The my control guy is going to run into some random other dude first. Send these guys over to the oxygen room to take that out. Just in case the my control lasts an excessively long time. I can then destroy oxygen and sit back and relax. Now you could be total dick. Run up here and watch the guy suffocate. Because, well, I guess I'm just a sick, sick son of a bitch. And, oh, he's dead. And I got a halberd beam. Um, technically, if I manage to later on uh, knock out all the shields and then burst it down with the glaive beam and the flak cannon, advanced flak, then I could theoretically sit back and deactivate the chain ion. Just fire in a halberd beam and, or, and the glaive beam all day and pretty much destroy whoever comes on board. So right away, um, I'm going to mind control this guy because I'm pretty sure he was going to be my boarder. And I don't feel like dealing with his smug little ass. So I'm also going to teleport in over here to try to drain out the air as quickly as possible. And since I already have the mind controlled guy over in there, he'll be doing a decent amount. So sadly, this is going to be one of those times where... Was oh, so he going to teleport in on me? Yeah, he's going to try to teleport in on me. Nope, oh, he's going to come up and fight. That's fine. I'm going to make him sit right in here with me. And now I'm going to try to take out their weapons. None of them can really safely get through here because of uh, <coughs> the air being... Or that air that room having no air and that's rather rather beneficial and in all honesty I can probably just sit here in the weapon room and slowly just keep controlling their minds like so boom watch him run through take a few shots die the other guy run in die <laughs> and let's go fight over here in the oxygen room while he takes out the helm basically I just want both my guys to be in one room with the oxygen drained for when he comes running in okay he didn't do that now let's go over here so now he's gonna run through a slightly deoxygenated area to begin with awesome we have a shield guy shield guy I think we already have a guy on shields they should be pretty powered up yeah um but since this guy has fighting and other shit. Well, where the fuck is this guy standing? Cause he's clearly my engine man. Well, this guy's gone just because he, he doesn't have anything. He's halfway powered up on engines, whereas he's fully powered for level one shield. So in case something happens to my shield guy, I have another one. Isn't like Yaws a fucking contraceptive thing? Oh, is this supposed to be? Yeah, you're supposed to be on weapons, homie. Or engines. Shit. That kind of sucks. 
So the other guy was supposed to be my mobile repair, not this one. Somehow things got switched around when moving characters. Probably I had like some sort of boarding action against me and I just kind of wasn't paying attention properly. Yep, that's definitely worth the trade. And that was a good, good deal. Rock Homeworlds. Technically, I could uh, get the Rock Leader through the Rock Quest. The only reason I don't like to do it is you have to fight them in the sun. And since I'm mostly relying on boarding at this point, uh, the one thing I could do is stack all my characters in the middle, say fuck my subsystems, and run away. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. As for now, I'm nowhere near any of my rocks. And once again, I'm going to be looking for the weapon pre-igniter. And they do have a reconstructive teleporter. That thing's pretty powerful, but it's less powerful in my opinion when you are using the clone bay. Uh, I like it with the med bay because then you can keep your med bay powered off at pretty much all times and just jump back and forth boarding parties and be good to go. Just gonna get back up into the green a little bit. Come over into my ship. I'm gonna upgrade dodge. No. Let's do just one point there. Buy one extra point because I think I'm missing one. Yeah, I am. <clears throat> so I like that. I'm still needing a shit ton in order to max out my weapon control systems, which is something I definitely want to do because if I can have my glaive beam, my charge ion, and my advanced flak all set, then it'll be astounding. Um, so in order to do that, I'm going to need an additional three power as well. And each one of these is going to cost me 35. So as you can see, I'm, I'm in need of a decent amount of scrap. I still want to get one more point in dodge as well. So clearly I'm going to need all this, one more, one, and then I would also like to level up my door systems, sensors, not as much. I used to actually level up sensors, and sometimes I still do to level two if I'm doing boarding actions, but overall it's a little bit of a waste. I typically like to actually have a slug on board, uh, just one slug that I would keep in like the engines or someplace where I would never really move them or use them for anything. But he could detect all life forms on an enemy ship. And with the advanced edition, you can also see him. Okay, so this is risky. We'll take possession of her. Okay, yep. Yeah. And then we get somewhere, and she's like, No, I'm actually a slave or some shit like that. And then it's your decision whether or not you turn her over, or try to protect her, hand her over, or refuse to comply. Which was pointless because I don't actually fucking need her. So I probably should have uh, tried to remember a little bit more clearly what that quest actually did. So the reason I'm keeping this guy up in the sensors is because he gives me level 2 sensors. And in addition to that, I can now say, uh, fuck your couch. Right like that, and then teleport in right like this. So, yeah, it's just bonus extra damage. And they're going to fight each other. Plus, I'm going to be able to suffocate out this room a little bit. Gonna try to dodge this first uh, volley that comes in on me from this Hermes. It's probably a good plan if I do say so myself. I'm gonna see how this charge thing actually works a little bit as well. Well apparently you don't do shit right there when you're not fucking paying attention. Okay so that's a burst laser mark 2 so it's gonna fire three shots at me which isn't the worst. Okay so it hit once I think well it's kind of hard to tell now since I destroyed their shields like a dumbass but whatever I am just gonna keep hitting them here in the hopes of trying to take off their everything <laughs> and I'm going to mind control you I could cloak out of that so I do a thing where I keep like stuttering pausing uh, just to make sure my timings line up with certain things it's by far not the best strategy in the world or anything even close to that. However, it does keep me a little bit extra protected. Uh, I feel like that's a good word for it. And boom. Where the fuck are you going? Where are you going? Huh? Where? You're not teleporting. 
We are not teleporting away. Oh shit, they have a clone bay. They have a clone bay and I was not paying attention to that. So, flat cannon that son of a bitch. Okay. Now get in on that. Come down here. Kill these shields. Okay, stop it. Stop auto attacking with my flat cannon on that crap. Keep the chain ion going right here. Come on, you're gonna die. You're, you're gonna die, boy. Go over here. No, nope, no, nope. yep. Okay, yeah, come fight me up in here and you're dead. That took a little bit longer than it should. Whoa, no, do not jump without my crew on board. That took a little bit longer than it should have because I will kind of chase that guy around for a a little bit longer than I should have. <laughs> well, let's jump here, down, and then kind of hook up back through. Uh, okay, so if anyone doesn't know, if you tell them their gods sent them here to join your crew, they'll just kind of give you the finger, and sometimes even attack. Uh, if you say promise to share them the truth they've been denied, you sometimes gain a crew member. Maybe I should have gone with the first one and fought them, but I mean... They do have a med bay, they have a shit ton of shields. I didn't really feel like another really long drawn out fight, but that's kind of how everything's gonna be right now until I power up just a little bit more. Okay, so this guy has a burst laser mark three, a clone bay, and an Artemis rocket launcher, and small bombs. Awesome, that was kind of tucked in over there. I couldn't, couldn't see it right off the road. I'm glad they have them though. All right, yeah, real glad. So I'm going to jump in over here, for starters, and then I'm going to mind control one of these sons of bitches, have these slow sons of motherfuckers come walking back in, and try to attack them. So come on, fire something else. Dodge, 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 son of a bitch. You really should not have been able to hit me there. That is a horrible place to get hit by a goddamn small bomb. So I'm going to take my uh, eyes in the sky guy off. See, this is what I was waiting for, for these guys to line up, because now I'm going to be able to dodge the Artemis and this uh, laser barrage, and that's pretty damn important in my opinion. This guy comes running back in. Awesome. Honestly, I don't really want to kill him quite yet, because, well, mostly because it would be pointless. Huh. The missile hit a meteor. I'm not sure if you saw that. Oh, son of a bitch, what? What's happening? Oh, I got hit in mind control. That, that's kind of shitty. Alright, uh... Mobile repair. Fix. Okay, there goes one more. And they're all dead. Awesome. Wait, they're not... Yeah, they're all dead. It was kind of... looked weird to me there for a second. I don't know why it looked weird to me, but it did. All right. So, long range scanners, drone recovery arm, and fire suppression. Shitty. Flak 2. Another weapon I love. They keep tempting me with different weapons of... Come on, you know you want them. Yeah. Come get it. Come and get it. Ugh. Should I? I probably shouldn't. I really shouldn't, but I want to. The Ion Blast is nice at the beginning of the game. Uh, late game, it sucks. Hmm. <clears throat> no one saw that? Nope, nope. I definitely did not just buy something I shouldn't have. Really, my rationale here is not very convincing, mind you. But if I could just save up, because the difference between these two and cooldown time is pretty low, I can blast twice with this, or blast once with this. And then by the time it's charged up the second time around, I can have this and my glaive beam charged up, take out all the shields, probably do damage to the shields, and then tear across them with the glaive beam. And that's even without having the... Uh, chain ion online and while the chain ion is pretty awesome uh it's not going to actually do damage it's just going to do ion damage which freezes them in place and that's pretty awesome but 
Yeah. I'd rather do actual damage than fake damage, I guess. So, I just bought one more energy bar for now. I'm going to buy two more. That's going to kind of dictate what I get to buy over the next little bit. I'm going to come down through here and work my way hopping around instead of trying to come up through here. I'm sure this is probably where the one of these beacons will probably lead to one of these beacons as the rock quest. But I don't think there's anything I can actually gain from it since typically what you wind up getting are uh, crew members. And to me right now that's relatively pointless. That's like the perfect place for them to spawn in all honesty because <laughs> ain't going to do shit to me over there. So they have a Burst Laser 3 and the Hermes Rocket Launcher. So all I really have to worry about is the Hermes Rocket Launcher. And in the meantime, I think I am going to just work on taking out their weapons. Oh, hello. There's another asshole up here. Son of a bitch. I did not notice him. This is bad. I think, yeah, I did hear it fire. I wasn't sure there for a second. All right, close these. Um, you little homie, you run out over here. Get these guys up here, and I'm actually going to reopen these. I said reopen these. So my guys are going to die, which sucks. But I'm hoping that in the meantime, uh... Yeah, so I only lost the one guy, and he'll just jump up back up on shields for now, and that should be fine. I'm probably not going to board these dudes. <sighs> that's depressing. They will board me again. That's just something that's going to happen. Come on. And there they go, with that whole boarding bullshit. So, you get back in here. You get back in here. Open the doors. Not that door. Open that door. Close this door. Damn. I mean, at least I think my uh, my chain ions doing some work over here. I, I say that and then it fucking misses like wide. So fortunately, since I have Med Bay 2, by the time one of my guys dies, another one's up. And I think they're doing enough combat damage before their death that they kind of equal out. Now I could board them and then mind control somebody, but I'm at the point where I feel like just killing them off is probably the way to go. And yes, I do like this chain ion now that I notice what it does, because <clears throat> eventually it powers up to the point that regardless of how many shields you have, you're going to take them out. Oh, hello. I got more boarders again. That's kind of odd. They teleport it on right before dying. So at this point, I mean, in all honesty, if, say, you were a real space pirate out to, you know, slaughter people and pillage and whatnot, if you noticed that you continually try to board your enemy, and each time you do, you die, uh, wouldn't you eventually just board them right before your ship exploded and be like, hey, we're here to join your crew, um, peace and love on Earth, right, guys? Beetles are good, but eh, that might just be me. Okay, so this guy was on my shields. Yep, this guy was right meow. No, said so this guy was right meow. I'm gonna put you back on my vision. And just in case that type of shit happens again, I'm going to power up my doors one more time. And then next time I'm probably going to focus on getting a little bit more, wet, well, probably a little bit more shield power first. I'm, oh, I'm in sector six already, so I kind of got to, I got to complete all my purchases in a relatively quick succession here. So to begin with, I am going to chain ion here in the weapons which is probably also where we're going to be fighting they do not have a med bay or anything um i think that's a ion burst too 
which gets dangerous because they have both of these. Uh, depending on how fast this starts to fire, I might change up my strategy. The reason being, the fact that I'm in an asteroid field gets a little bit dangerous if that's Mark II because they'll be able to take out my weapons. Fortunately, something else was able to come through and do a little bit of damage. Oh, we were able to do some damage and took out their rocket launcher, so I don't really have to worry about that. And this appears to be a Mark I. I don't really know the exact visual stylings of one versus the other, unfortunately. But basically, right now, I plan on destroying all their weapons. And now I am totally 100% safe from taking damage on that crap. And the nice thing about having a clone bay is as long as they don't jump away, even if a shit ton of asteroids suddenly come in here and decimate this ship and everybody, you know, all souls on board lost, uh, my guys would still just respawn back here in the clone bay. And that's pretty badass. I'm just going to fight one on one at it because I feel like that might be a slightly smarter process. Uh, no, I don't need the fuel. If I was low, oh shit, get out of there! Oh shit, get out of there! Do 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 do. So right now, I'm just trying to drain as many rooms of oxygen as possible, and it worked out nicely. I got a pretty good amount of scrap for that, to be honest. So, let's just jump over to this one now. I think I'll be able to get one more jump in. Scrap it. And I'm in a fight. Figures. Okay, so. <laughs> they can do a lot to me here. So, what I'm going to do is... my control this guy. Oh, I should have waited for my teleport to come up. Oh, they really don't care about him just beating on their shit, do they? I really should have waited for my teleport to come up. Um... Gonna chain ion and flak up in here. Okay, so they fired everything at me so I can actually cloak out of that safely. And yeah, so they're gonna beat on each other there a bit. I'm actually going to well, I have extra points, I don't know why. I'm not just sticking in my teleport. Did, when the fuck did I buy an extra point in teleport? I feel like I fucked that up at some point. Okay, so right here, I honestly don't want to kill these guys in this room. What I want to have happen is for them to get frightened, I guess would be a good way of saying it, and try to run away so that way I can destroy their med bay and then progress out of here into new areas of pissing them off with death and destruction. So for instance, right here, as I kill these guys, they will remain dead. And that is excellent for me. I'm actually going to just try to shoot this guy real quick with my flak. And not accept offer. And he's dead. Now we take all their scrap instead of that poultry offer. Po poultry? Uh, isn't that food? Okay, I think that if I were to jump here, they'll overtake the exit. So I'm just going to jump straight to the exit. As much as I would love to check out that other little piece. Move in to examine the station. This is dangerous, and of course, I get intruders on board. Which is what I'd assume was going to happen. These guys are relatively powerful with a med bay. Fortunately, they don't have an actual teleporter. It's just the fact that they somehow instantaneously spawn assholes on my ship. But they do have a burst laser Mark III. That's really what I need to focus on dodging, because the ion blast won't really be able to do enough to me to knock out anything directly. So I'm going to mind control that guy and then just auto attack in here. I'm probably not going to board the ship just because I don't feel like spending the extra time to take out the med bay and blah 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 blah. It's more effort than it's worth. I'm going to open this door uh, just to try to drain out some oxygen. I would prefer to not have to run my guys out of my weapons bay but that's exactly what happened. Run him over here. I am not going to take anyone off doors. That is stupid. Whoa, I should have cloaked out of that. So I basically just need to keep the oxygen out of this room and keep someone in there to fight them. And that'll be easy enough. They don't have a clone bay, so they're not coming back. And 
I theoretically could teleport on board their ship, which I think is what I'm going to do, but I'm going to wait for my, what you call it, to be up. Um, I'm going to keep my chain eye on going here. I'm going to wait for my control to be up, or nearly up, so that way when I hop in to their med bay, the first guy that comes running in, I can theoretically take over. I'm actually going to take him over and try to hopefully slow them down a little bit, which didn't seem to happen. Hopefully the other guy will stop. The trick here is I eventually get to the point where the amount of damage that two guys can put out, coupled with... Hey, you know what? I'm going to flack you before that burst laser gets charged up. No, do not accept their offer. Lazy bastards. At least make me a good offer. Okay. So, this guy... He can't finish me off, which is excellent. Um, he won't be able to heal up at least. Come up into here. He might be able he's gonna kill my one guy, but my other one will finish him off, and then I'll just have to wait for the other guy to respawn. Not that big of a deal. So if you want to reoxygenate a room real quick, open adjoining rooms. Seems pretty standard and self-explanatory but who knows all right so I'm jumping on to the next sector and I think I am gonna do mantis homeworlds well no I'm gonna do Zoltan because I had because I bought the right I did buy the Zoltan bypass right yeah I bought the Zoltan shield bypass so if I don't use it it's really gonna be going to waste until the end fight so until then uh, I'm going to I'm definitely gonna jump over the Zoltan See what happens once we arrive. So we arrive in Zoltan Patrol with the borders and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to hop down and around. But until then, good luck. Have fun. Peace.